Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about Neptune transiting the fifth house in a natal chart. Now, on average, Neptune will traverse a house for approximately 14 years. However, if your house size is a little bit larger than average, then Neptune will be in there for a little bit of a longer duration. If your house size is a little bit smaller than average, then Neptune will be in there for a little bit of a shorter period. Well, anyway, people, first thing I say, well, when Neptune transits one's natal fifth house, this could be a time if you're unattached, you should guard against becoming maybe delusional regarding matters connected with love and romance, over idealizing somebody, seeing all the good, but overlooking any transgression and seeing what you want to see in him or her as opposed to what he or she really is. It could also be a time where you might be attracted to maybe somebody in, in a Neptune-like field, such as the metaphysical, such as somebody that's very spiritual, could be somebody in astrology, uh, uh, somebody that is a, a poet, uh, somebody in the, I guess you, you could say, uh, maybe even in dancing, somebody connected with maybe uh, something with water, some kind of water. Uh, profession that might be connected with that it could be like oceanographer for example now another thing too is that the fifth house is also associated with children and neptune does uh, roll uh, drugs uh, chemicals alcohol so uh, especially if your child is a, is a teenager it's really careful to really be aware and cognizant and in this transit there might be a little greater propensity to uh, for a child one or more maybe to to become uh, involved as a dr as a drinker or somebody in, in recreate uses recreational drugs I'm not saying in every case this happens but I think the per I would say the propensity for this does increase a little bit anyway because you are talking about Neptune and you're talking about the fifth house as well so be very careful if you're a parent out there and you have children you think maybe a, a, a children of an age where this is where you think this could be possible now also children might be a little bit more deceptive during this time there might be something confounding and confusing regarding a, a child at this point in time it could also be a period where you look at the fifth house it's associated with amusement and it could be a time where you might go to like some park that might be connected with fantasy and and really uh, takes you into your own uh, world so to speak uh, there's also uh Fifth house is about enjoyment as well. And the Nept and Neptune is connected with fantasy. This could be a time where you get into like maybe some fantasy uh, books, fantasy literature, something. Even you might, I mean, the fifth house being fun and enjoyment encompasses a lot. It could be something where you take up a fantasy board game, such as like a Dungeons and Dragons or some kind of superhero game, something where you can be somebody that it really it's an imaginary person for example something that takes you into your own world it could be even video games playing games on the computer something that takes you out of your own out of reality it could be things of enjoyment at this time and keep in mind that it, it really um, enjoyment like i said i mean encompasses a lot of things even parties so be careful going to parties if you're somebody that that, that goes to parties, there might be a little greater propensity for, for parties that have drinks and, and more alcohol than usual and possible even recreational drugs just to be careful during uh, during this time. And the thing too is, is that we have to look at that somebody that, uh, people that have this transit too, the fifth house is associated with speculation. And it's really, it could be very easy at this point in time to be beguiled or be deceived by somebody or something and thinking that the odds are a little bit better than they actually are in winning something. And, and really, 
it's it's important to be careful as far as unrealistic speculative ventures go things that involve conjecture and speculation things you don't have a guarantee of an outcome and, and really it could be simply about overestimating your abilities if you're doing something with with football for example and say you're in vegas you're doing you're doing something as far as legal gambling goes and, and really, it's possible one can get over his or her head at this time and really have an overestimation of his or her abilities and delude themselves into thinking they could win at this high percentage, for example, when they really can't. And also things, even such as like stock market, investing in something that really doesn't, uh, that that is very speculative, something that is that, that a stock really, uh, maybe for example, a new, a stock that's connected with a new company that really hasn't been tested or really as far as their credibility goes you're not really sure of and doing something on a whim like that is obviously it would be inadvisable um, and so those are some things to look at as far as this transit goes and back I want to go backtrack to children that also that Neptune fifth house governs children and also uh, the, the Neptune is connected with chemicals and it's, I'm not just, I talked about alcohol and, and recreational drug use, but keep in mind that, that your child might be more, one or more children may be more susceptible to allergies at this time and also be careful and guarded against possible chemicals in the home that might affect the children. Yes, I believe I stated this in the last video about Neptune in the fourth house because Neptune governs chemicals and fourth house is the home, but still children could still, I think in this transit could get uh, something can, something in terms of an ad, adverse chemical that could be detrimental to them, could affect them. And sometimes those chemicals do come from the home like radon. So anyway, well, people, it's also important to look at the aspects of any that are made um, to your natal planets and points from this transit is this could impact the transit. Now let's say for example that transiting Neptune is making a square in conjunct or opposition to your natal Neptune. Well this could be a, a time where there might be some danger of being deceived by people that might be con artists, just general deceivers, manipulators, and, and drug users perhaps. And being in the fifth it could be connected with maybe somebody that you you share uh, creative hobbies, creative endeavors with. It could be a romantic partner even. And let's take another example. Let's say that transiting Neptune is making a conjunction to your natal Pluto. Well, this could be a time where you might have your your fantasies might strongly merge with a major metamorphosis. And and during the in being in the fifth, this could be tied to some kind something connected with creativity something connected with a love interest perhaps or, or a romantic interest or something where it's like maybe even even a hobby might even take you might uh, it, it might be connected with a hobby in, in some instances well anyway people that'll conclude this youtube astrological segment for neptune transiting the fifth house in a natal chart and stay tuned next time where i'll be dissertating and talking about Neptune transiting the sixth house in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.